is Travel News Network. I am reporter Elizabeth Thomas here in Tenochtitlan with citizen Atsi. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. So, I hear something may be coming to Tenochtitlan. Yes, actually, there are eight bad omens which point that something terrible is coming. Wow, what types of things were seen in the omens? Well, there was a flaming ear of corn in the sky. The temple to Huitzilopochtli caught fire. Another temple was struck by lightning. The sky burned from where the sun sets. The water in the lake boiled. There was a weeping woman. A strange bird was captured. And, and then the two-headed men appeared. But the great Moctezuma analyzed all of these omens and he says he will protect us. Wow, those are some pretty strange omens. Hopefully nothing happens. What is life like for you? What, what do you eat? We eat a lot of corn and other things made from corn. <laughs> corn is beautiful and golden and it's, it's worth a lot to our culture. We also eat lots of fruits, but a large portion of our food actually comes from the water. The things we get from the water are like, like fish um, and salamanders. We also eat beans, peppers, tomatoes. I actually have some corn and tomatoes with me now. Oh, let's, let's see it. Yeah, of course. Here is my corn. Isn't it so beautiful and golden? And this is a young tomato plant that I pulled from the garden. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for sharing. Do you have any favorite foods or delicacies? Yes, we eat ground beans mixed with hot water and it makes a very nice frothy drink. We also have a drink that's lightly alcoholic made from the corn, of course. However, public intoxication is highly frowned upon and you can even be arrested for being over intoxicated and well, we do have the death penalty for such charges, so you better watch out with those corn drinks. <laughs> I did not know that. I hear your family are farmers, so did you grow all of that food? Well, our town is in the center of Lake Texcoco. Many farmers build fields out on the water, so they get really good irrigation and nutrients from the lake. <sighs> That's so cool. How would that work exactly? <laughs> oh yeah, um, so you build a sort of fence down in the water and then fill it up with dirt. Then once it's filled up with dirt, you have a plot of land where it used to be water. <laughs> so the water surrounds it and the water table inside of your new plot of land is very high. So everything in the plot stays super moist and filled with the nutrients from the lake and the fish. It's very nice. It grows really good crops. That's very innovative. So you say that your city is in the middle of the lake? Yes, uh, it is on the largest island in the middle of Lake Texcoco. So we do use a lot of boats and such to get around from island to island. I bet. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time for today. It has been so nice to talk with you. Thank you so much for having me, Elizabeth. Next week, we will interview with other citizens of Tenochtitlan about their clothing and jewelry. See you next time on Travel News Network. I'm Elizabeth Thomas.